Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Now, before we get to the fuel prices, let's talk about NCB's link. The local digital wallet provider has announced that it will stop its referral program. In an email to wallet holders, the company said the benefit would end on September 30, 2023. Until then, any pending referrals will be paid out as usual and clients will have the attached bonus. Sources close to the matter told our news center that Link has spent about $300 million on the program. Each time a person is referred and signs up, $250 is credited to them and the customer who referred them to Link. When Link was introduced in 2021, the referral program offered $2,500. The update comes weeks after TVJ broke news that more than half of Link's staff was being cut as part of NCB's cost-saving exercise. The cost of health care increased by 4.7% on an annual basis as at July. For the month of July alone, the cost went up by 0.30%. Statin says this was due to the same percentage increase in medicines and health products. People also, got, people also paid more for some over-the-counter painkillers, prescription medicines, condoms and rubbing alcohol. The index for outpatient care services moved up by 0.40%. Statin says that was due to higher fees being charged by some general practitioners and ophthalmologists. Effective Thursday, gas prices will drop by a few cents. The changes will barely impact the increases experienced in the last few weeks. A liter of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for 25 cents less. 31 cents will be cut from the cost of diesel. Ultra-low sulfur diesel will sell for 46 cents less. Kerosene will decline by 25 cents. However, propane will increase by $1.63, while butane will sell for $1.95 more. Each gas station will make adjustments to the prices. Banks and Cambios are selling the U.S. dollar for an average $155.45. $113.98 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $194.74, while it's costing $171.10 for the euro. And now to the stock market. The JSC index lost 2,523 points today, while the junior market lost 114 points. Among the 36 winners, Epley 7.50% preference shares due 2024, JMMB Group 7% variable Jamaican dollar shares, Productive Business Solutions 10.50%, AMG Packaging and Paper Company, and Carbon Assurance Brokers. The 60 losers were led by Cargo Handlers, Access Financial Services, Mayberry Investments, Palace Amusement, and Key Insurance Company. 11 stocks traded firm. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.